Pastor Alicia Williams. Welcome to Life in Christ International Church. This is our end of month worship. This is our end of month service. This is our end of month message. This month here at the church all month long, the Lord has blessed us to glean and learn as much as we can about what the Bible teaches us about grace. And this morning I simply came to encourage us, to remind us that God's grace is so very prevalent in our lives. And it's absolutely not because of who we are, neither is it because of anything that we've done, but it's all about the Lord. And so with that, let us go ahead and open up in and with a word of prayer. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for this end of month message. We thank you, Father, that you are a God full of grace and truth. Father, we honor you in this very instance. Father, we honor you in this very moment. We invite you, God, into our end of month worship. We ask, oh dear God, that you will continue to be glorified, that you will continue to be magnified, that you will continue to be honored above all else. We thank you, oh dear God, and we ask that your anointing would rest upon your, your vessel, your anointing would rest upon your message, and that you, oh God, will be magnified in our souls. All these things we bring before you now, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. I'm happy to be with you this morning. I'm happy to be able to share with you once again what the Lord has laid upon my heart in this month of June, in this month of grace. We know that at the top of this month, the Lord blessed us to learn about grace in the Bible during our midweek Bible study. And then the Lord uh, blessed us to learn about grace and abundance and, and grace is sufficient. And so this morning during our end of month message, I just simply came to remind us that Christ is the essence of grace. The month, um, of June has been a, a gracious month for us, not only in our studies, but in our day-to-day -day lives. The Lord has blessed the church uh, to glean and to learn, and uh, uh, we, we, we experienced it in, in grace in the Bible. We, we experienced it in grace is sufficient. We experienced it in grace is abundant. And so this morning we take time in God's word and we take time to reflect and share about how our immediate lives become directly affected by the Lord reminding us today in this end of month message that Christ is the essence of grace. I can't say it loud enough. I can't say it strong enough. Whatever we're facing, whatever we will face, whatever we're going through, whatever our needs are, Christ is the essence of grace. If we take on the divine fact that grace is in the Bible, grace is sufficient, grace is abundant, then I believe the Lord God leads us to walk out and to live out the divine fact that Christ is the essence of grace. This this morning, our our, our end of month message is 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 charging us and challenging us to to move into a tangible place in and with and through grace and 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 a tangible place with God. And and if we are 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 enveloped and 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 consumed with grace then then no hurt harm or danger will overtake us no, no hurt harm and danger will pluck us out of the hand of the lord and and because of our walk and because our relationship with the one and only true god one, one divine fact that stands out for us this morning during this end of month message is that Christ is the essence of grace. Why, why do we declare that? Why, why do, do I express that to you today? That, that Christ is the essence of grace? Not just because of the price that he paid, not just because of the penalty he paid on the cross to wash away our sins, 
but because of all that he is in our very lives. Even, even the things we have yet to come into understanding. And, and, and because this morning, the word of God reminds us that Christ is the essence of grace. When it states, and, and I want to read our scripture verse to us, it's coming from John chapter 1, the 17th verse. Um, in the Gospel of John, it says, For the law was given through Moses, but grace, the unearned, undeserved favor of God and truth came through Jesus Christ. Amen. Do we do we understand that this morning? What, what what the Lord declares in and through his word when when he reminds us that the law was given through Moses, but grace, the unearned, undeserved favor of God and truth came through Jesus Christ. So so this morning as I declare, as I stand with you in faith and trust, um, uh, 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 the word of God declares for us that Christ is the essence of grace. The word of God declares in our lives and in our hearts and in our minds and our souls that Christ is the essence of grace. I, I, I believe it's very important we take that in this morning and that we digest that, that there is no one we, we, we could have been reconciled with, uh, um, that, that could have reconciled us unto God. Um, um, the law, we, we couldn't achieve it. Uh, um, it's, it's impossible for us in our, our carnal ways to fulfill the law. But here, on this morning, in and through the word of God, the Lord reminds us when he declares grace, the, the unearned, undeserved favor of God and truth came through Jesus Christ. I want us to know, I, I want us to, to have that without a shadow of a doubt that, that when the Lord says grace, and, and truth came through Jesus Christ. This, I hope it is clear and it remains clear for us for all eternity that Christ Jesus is the very essence of grace. It is not far from us. That's why you and I are here today. That's why we're functioning. That's why we do what we do and we have what we have. That's why there's a ticket for us to spend eternal life in heaven because Christ is the very essence of grace. Christ, because he is and was the only one worthy to fulfill the law. Christ. And so we may have our bad days. We may have our bad circumstances and bad situations. Bad people may enter into our lives. But all in all, through and through, Christ is the essence of grace. And, and because of his innocent bloodshed on the cross for the remission of sins, we are under grace. We're baptized in grace. We're saved by grace. We're endowed by grace. This, this morning, if we don't get nothing else, it's imperative that we get this. Christ is the essence of grace. And, and, and because he is the very essence of God's unmerited favor, we, we don't get what we deserve. We don't get what uh, we do not deserve. We get God's amazing grace. We get God's abundant grace. We get God's sufficient grace. Why? Because it was 
in the plan of God to redeem our souls. It was in the plan of God to redeem our souls. It was in the plan of God to redeem our souls. It was in the plan of God to use our lives to honor and glorify him. It is the plan of God for us to spend our eternity with him in heaven. Christ, the essence of grace. And so this month we were reminded to, to put on grace is sufficient. This month we were reminded to walk in and live out the divine fact that grace is abundant and, and, and grace eternal. Not, not, not just to, to live our lives um, and, and, and to face life's challenges. Hmm. Not just for that, but there is, and the Lord is bringing us into so much more. There is so much more. And so this morning, the Lord says grace and truth came through Jesus Christ in the gospel of John, the first chapter in the 17th verse. The, the Amplified Bible tells us grace, the, the unearned, undeserved favor of God and truth came through Jesus Christ. But it doesn't stop there. So, so, so this morning, God is, I believe, calling us every baptized believer to take on the fullness of grace to to take on and 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 walk in the full possession of Christ the essence of grace i stopped by simply very simply to remind us grace is given for salvation grace is given for our shortcomings and for the remission of sins. Grace is given to reconcile us into our rightful place with God. Grace is given so that for all eternity, we will spend in heaven with the Lord. If we don't learn nothing else, grace takes us to the third heaven. Where, where God lives. If we don't get nothing else, we live out and we walk out the divine fact that Christ is the essence of grace. Amen. Amen.